it's not moving. All right. I took a trip through time yesterday. These white, concrete city walkways took me 300 years into the past. On the other side of this asphalt expanse, three black boys walked the other direction, but time didn't seem to change for them. Strange. Has sagging pants make them shuffle like shackles once did. Strange. How the shapes follow them. In history class, they taught us that sharks used to follow the slave ships feeding on the poor souls thrown overboard. Strange how there are still sharks following them. Only now they wear blue uniforms. I guess that's why they call them great whites. Strange how bullets look like teeth. I wonder if that's why none of my black friends ever go swimming. Strange how nobody else seems to be looking in that direction. Strange how I can't tell the past from the present anymore. One of the black boys reaches into his pocket for his phone. I cringe. Doesn't he know that shiny metal objects in contrast to melanin is probable cause? Doesn't he know that hands up or hands down doesn't matter anymore? Doesn't he know that reflective music is dangerous? Doesn't he know? Doesn't he know that master has been replaced by officer? Doesn't he know that oppression is now called Section 8 housing? Doesn't he know that sharks thrive off that red, white, and blue. Red blood on white hands wearing the very blue meant to protect us all. Doesn't he know? Doesn't he know his name? Doesn't he know his name is Eric Gardner? I mean, Michael Brown. I mean, Tamara Rice, Cadence Tillman, Katie Smith, Jefferson Holden, Freddie Gray. Doesn't he know that racism never died? It was just institutionalized. And doesn't he know that everything is not going to be all right? 